Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to Subsistence. You know, it was a really beautiful morning. <laughs> uh, we're not going to let snow flurries stop us. We need, uh, we need to start taking advantage of the snow. Get some snowy loot. We have to keep doing this as well because it takes twice as long <laughs> maybe not twice as long but it takes a lot more effort to get enough biofuel out of wolves one that was one <laughs> so I'm gonna try extra hard to pay attention to everything ah oh, hey lever action service star Whoa. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting that. Um, oh, I don't need that. <laughs> I was going to take him apart. Oh, I wasn't thirsty either. Wow. I was, I'll just carry on here. There's a chicken. I'm growing a rabbit uh, because I like rabbits too. And, uh, <laughs> so I was going to go to the valley today, but, um, it might be clearing up. We might get lucky. Let's just check over here quickly for this locked crate. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, there's some loot up there on top of that rock. Oh, that water's cold. <laughs> oh, I got my band-aid back. Woohoo! Is he alive? Oh, awesome. You're going straight home, buddy. Don't you worry. I got a nice warm house for you. It's completely loaded up with food. Going straight home after we do this little loop right here. This uh, near home loop. I'm looking for the uh, locked crate. I saw that rabbit sitting on that rock. Still just sitting there. <laughs> oh God, the weather keeps going back and forth. I'm just not sure what it's going to do. But I have a feeling we're going to have a blizzard. There's another one. He is also alive. I think one of those coops can handle two animals. I probably should have upgraded both of them just you know just in case I happen to have more coming in it's just kind of a strain uh, to keep two animal coops going with uh, multiple animals in them because obviously they eat the food faster and you gotta go home every night <laughs> I think uh, it's three days with only one animal in there and um, possibly two days with two animals in there I don't know if I'd be like willing to stretch that you do gotta watch out for those uh, yeah there's only room for one so we'll put you in there and let's see here um, scrap adhesive tree <laughs> ah, one of those some planks some scrap um, there we go um 
think I have enough on me to do both. No, I still need uh, another ingot. May as well do them both, you know. Um, adhesive four and scrap. There we go. I think I had the, the only thing I had left was planks, right? There we go. Picked up an extra band aid somewhere. That's probably good. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I'm going to need that today. The weather is... Uh, oops! The weather is pretending to get better. Might as well drop off all the wolves. Alright, let's see if we can find a lock crate. If it's going to be nice like this, then I'm going to go to the valley because, um, you know, there's potential... Uh, there and it's a huge flat area, so it makes it a whole lot easier to find things. But this is just this is like easy mode when there's snow on the ground. Although it's difficult to survive if you don't like have the right equipment, right? But um, I have uh, heat packs on me and I'm wearing a coat. All of my clothes are upgraded. Yes, yes, there's another rabbit. <laughs> I need to make some uh, tomato soup or something because uh, the it's fine and it's all fine and good to just feed them vegetables, but tomato soup only takes two tomatoes and uh, it fills quite a bit more than two tomatoes on their own. I almost forgot why I came to the arch. <laughs> now, uh, Arpeggio found the locked crate for the arch up here uh, today, on today's episode. Uh, today being Wednesday. And uh, that's unusual for him, he said, to find it up here. I guess he was up here a little ways. This is a little high for it, yeah. But I think that I have seen it. Was it on this rock? Wherever it is, you're, you're in sight of the arch. And I think I've seen the lock crate up there. Maybe it was this rock over here. Oh, look, there's the eagle. But, uh, what time is the middle of the day? We should be able to see the lock crate if it's here. <laughs> Can definitely see the scrap a lot easier. If that grass had been there, I don't know if I would have seen that. Because I'm, I'm particularly awful. I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> All right. This is not the direction of the valley. It's the direction of a valley. There it is. <laughs> a dogged determination. <laughs> <laughs> Leads me astray. Uh, not such a great crate, but I'll take the fragments already cooked because that saves power. And uh, every little bit counts, and it does take a long time to get one fragment out. Now, right now, I've got like 30... I think I pulled 31 out of the drill, and that's what's going in the refiner. I just split it in half and... Um, Use both lasers. But today's goal is scrap as always and uh, fiber. 
make sure that I'm going the correct direction here. Got some weird rendering going on. I have been since uh, since Alpha. Uh, there he is. Since Alpha 61, I've been having some weird rendering, and uh, I think it's uh, just a coincidence. I think it's actually my computer, and I need to get it clean. Uh, before it actually burns burns itself out or maybe I just need to let it burn itself out so that I can <laughs> convince myself that what I need is a new computer <laughs> I'm not one of these people that automatically thinks oh the 400 series or the 40 series uh, Nvidia cards are out that means I need one in fact I have no intention of getting one uh, what I was going to get was a, a RTX 3060, but um, I think that what I'll actually get is an RTX 2060. The 2080 and 2060 don't have very different benchmarks, so I think it's just extra money to get a bigger number. You know, I think you're just paying for a number there. But um, the benchmark for the 2060 is very good and completely stable from like really from its inception and uh, I don't really need a 30 series card because I don't really play No Man's Sky that much anymore um, I play it a couple of days a week you know I keep my chops and I keep up with the updates and stuff but to be honest with you <laughs> chicken is clucker of the mountain uh, to be honest with you um, I am really burnt out after 7200 hours 7200 hours of gameplay and I'm just so thoroughly burnt out gimme that <laughs> oh for goodness sake where is this one at right there I find them by their uh hit uh, point bar rather than being able to see them and uh, a little while ago <laughs> a little while ago I was playing and there was a white wolf there but I couldn't see him at first and then I fired at the hit point bar and I killed him which was lucky because he was coming towards me I think and um, <laughs> then I couldn't find his body <laughs> Because he blended in. <laughs> uh, let's get an apple. A couple of those and a bottle of water. There we go. Let's go ahead and do that. Is that iron? Is it just rock? It's just a rock. Alright, let's see what's going on out there. I think that's a wolf, yeah. I had to wait for him to turn around. The weather's kind of going crappy on me here. Again. I'm trying to look down a little bit to push the glare from the sky back a little. Wow. I mean, I need the fiber, but let's check and see... How we're doing on the scrap there's more back to my left too wow main scrap already unless i had one or two still on me from upgrading the animal housing i'm not sure about that one but even in low light this is easier Easier than summertime when all these things are all grown up and blending into each other and that's level one wolf. We'll try to avoid that. That's level two. I also uh, killed some rogues and hunters earlier today because, well, first of all, the rogues were like right here. They were right at the entrance to the valley and uh, so I had to go through them either way 
And then uh, the hunter, I thought, was another rogue because I heard some 9 mil gunfire. And, uh, what are you, level 2? And so I went in that direction. Well, it turned out to be a hunter, but he was way, way up here. And Alpha is, if I can be careful about this, Alpha is, what, over here somewhere? And the hunter was over here next to Happy, if you can see my pointer at all. Um, so it was really strange to see him so far from his base, but, you know, winters are short, and... Um, I'm not sure what hunters do in the winter time. If their behavior actually changes. Or if that hunter was actually going all the way from Alpha to the South Pond instead of to Center Pond, which is right in front of him. I'm really not sure what he was doing up there, but... Maybe, maybe he got into a fight with an animal and when he scattered he ended up up there? Is that happy? That's happy right there. He was right there coming down this way. So I'm learning stuff. What are you? Level three. Sounded right. like there was another one right next to me. That little bark they do after they die is a little disturbing. <laughs> So there we go, level 3, 3 fat. You won't always get 3 fat from a level 3, but you have a better chance of it, I think. Alright, let's see. Do I have another lockpick? I do. That is not it. Oh, I thought that was uh, copper right there. I think a part of my problem in the summertime when I'm looting is that I'm always going to a place and so there always comes a point when you know I'm like oh we need to get going and then I stop like sort of looting because I'm doing too many things at once <laughs> namely traveling <laughs> and looting <laughs> here comes that uh, blizzard, I think. I can hear the wind for sure. Alright. Anything to leave here? That and that. Oh, potato seed. And we got some fragments and some bullets we don't need. Uh, is there no 44 here? No, I finally took it away. We'll leave that. Leave that. Uh, oops. Alright. Just kind of looking at everything. I find it easier to remember what I've got on me if I move everything, you know. What's the temperature? Negative two. I'm waiting for a nice day. I thought today was going to be a nice day, which is why I started recording. But I'm waiting for a nice day to go get some more cougars. We still need more sinew. And we still have a cougar achievement. That's why I don't like to rush through achievements because then when you're done they're done it's that's it <laughs> if you just take your time with them they last longer what do you got for me chicken nothing Oh, there might be a lock crate out here. I'm not sure what time of day the, this particular uh, lock crate shows up. I went well past it, though. A 
Oh, good golly. <laughs> Nothing like the smallest bit of snow falling to get me lost. <laughs> Where the heck? Over there. <laughs> I think it was clear up on the saddle there, or just close to it. All right, let's see if this lock crates here before we head back home. I didn't look for the Death Valley lock crate because uh, I wanted to get out here and get some fiber. Did we even get any? 41. That's not terrible. Lock crates don't move. They don't have feet and legs. <laughs> I guess we'll take a real quick swing along the pathway here. Probably have to kill that wolf. Maybe some hunters. It is getting dark, though. Level two. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh, there is this though. Is he not following me? Wow. Is that because I'm right next to Alpha? I'm not sure. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> He bit me, I'm not bleeding, and I don't have an infection, so no harm, no foul. <laughs> uh, here's another wolf. And there's a really dangerous chicken. There's Alpha. <laughs> He's going to be chasing me now. <laughs> he saw me for sure. I think that was Ralph, though. That's a new wolf. Oh, look at this guy. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Peaceful silence for a moment there. <laughs> Let's go home. I'd like to find a little bit more scrap than that, but yeah. Scrap, scrap, scrap. <laughs> scrap. I might have to start doing uh, uh, arpeggios. Uh, code word, ask for uh, components instead of what I want, and see if I get scrap out of it. <laughs> Alright. It'd be way too early for this lock crate to come back. They do appear on my map at the same time. That, you know, experience may vary there. You might have a different time. That was not the gun I meant to use, but that's the gun that came out. <laughs> All right, that's the arch. So let's go down here. that a thing? Oh, for goodness sake. 
Oh, these are both regular bags. Oh boy. <laughs> Tomato seeds I don't need. What I need is onion seeds. And I'm going to have to take them from the onions that I'm already growing. I think I watered them today. Uh, what I was looking at was over here. Nope, that's just a rock. Okay. Homeward bound. Is that a footprint? I mean a footstep. Okay. <laughs> I did kill a hunter. <laughs> His buddies might be following, but usually they don't care about each other, so it's just it's all about proximity. <laughs> that tree limb just startled me. <laughs> there is a lot of base beacons on the map and uh, it's helpful for you know guiding you to where you want to go but it's also distracting because um, it, it sort of um, looks like other things if you just see it like out of the corner of your eye you know all right let's see how these guys did which one is it that's doubled that one okay so 66 and 65 and then this guy is uh 77 and 81 so it's only a 10 percent difference but i think the level five guy is in here maybe hmm I'm not 100% sure about that. We need to get this work done out here. So I can have some proper lighting. <laughs> what have I got on me? Wow! I think we can eat a big meal. Put all this stuff away. Oh, the fires went out. That's too bad. We'll keep the livers and um, 57. That's not bad. I use it up pretty quickly, though. Is that the stew or casserole? Rabbit casserole. That's what I'm growing out there. And I think you get two from each level 10 one. So that would be six of them. Which would be nice, you know. And 17 fat. Yeah, that's alright. I don't think I have any more fat anywhere. Or I'd add three to it, but I guess I don't. Alrighty, get in there. Did pick up a little bit of ore, and there should be 31 in there. There we go. I went through a lot of fragments making lock picks this morning. So we have a little bit of veg. And a bunch of it went into the recycler earlier. Uh, did I already put away the onion seed? Oh, that must have been earlier in the day. All right, let's put the rest of this away. 11 more scrap. That's pretty good. Need to get that up there, though. Uh, weapon parts, bulletos. I moved another stack over here. So we've got another stack over there. Makes me feel uh, secure, or at least more secure with that, uh, with that extra backup in there. Hit the right button there. bullets and what was that I had seeds and that stuff already this is my second trip down here <laughs> yeah see I've only got one 
uh, onion seed there. I have gotten through quite a bit of the cotton seeds though, so that's calmed down to one, one pile there. So I need onion seeds and potato seeds, looks like. And more carrot seeds too. I have carrot seeds right here. How's that going? That's fine. Hello, door, hello, door, hello. <laughs> Alright, so they're doing fine. I'm I'm not too worried about that. How's this going? Six. I think next time it's been um it's been a few days because I've been waiting for the weather. So I think next time we will take another trip uh, up north to clear the drills. Uh, I think I'm ready to run two drills on iron. So if I don't already have one on iron up there, I'm going to switch it to iron uh, so that I can make lock picks because I need something to do all winter long and why not open locked crates all winter. So that's going pretty good and we have a 349 so let's not let it drop too much lower uh, you know because <laughs> things could go really really bad really really quickly uh, with that uh, with that uh, biofuel all right you guys I want to thank you all so much for coming along I do hope that you have a lovely evening we'll see you next time bye bye for now